Yo, we're on. Yo! Yo! Yo, we on. First cast on that crank. <laughs> Jeff is gonna be pissed. What's up guys, today we are hitting a different lake, different body of water. I've never fished this lake, have you? No. No, so new for both of us. We're gonna try and pick this thing apart. So come along with us today as we compare these two boxes head to head on the water. Here's how the game is gonna work. I'm gonna take the Monster Bass box, I feel like I have to, and Paul here is gonna take the MTB Elite box. We're gonna go fish whatever the heck is in these. If you guys haven't seen it, go check out my unboxing video uh, that I released last week. So check that out first if you wanna see all the baits in depth. Otherwise, you know the name of the game, this is a slam, so we're gonna fish everything that's in here from crankbaits down to you know, plastics that are in here. However we want to rig them, you know, no rules there, I would say, but we're going, you have three rods? Three. Three rods. I'll go three, I'll just not use my other spinner. Uh, I'll just, I'll condense one rod. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna go three rods V, three rods, box versus box, and then any terminal tackle you wanna use. You do whatever you, it's, you can do whatever you want, but you have to have at least one component from the box and whatever yeah. you're using. At least one component, you heard it here first. So, come along with us as we go fish this and figure this thing out on this brand new lake. If you guys like the content, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notification bell so you can see when we post more videos and may the best box win, win. See you guys out there. <laughs> Jeff, go get us some snacks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be as tactful and artful as I can about this uh, competition because I don't like losing. So here's what I'm doing. I'm going to take things out of here and put them on these things so that right when we get on the water, I'm immediately fishing. So I'm gonna be rigging up this enormous thing uh, immediately so I can troll on the way out. I'm gonna put on, it's still kind of early, but I th I'm thinking Top water to start. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll get one of these bad boys on, because I got three rods. So, one, for getting to the spot. Two, for when I get to the spot. And then, oh, yes, number three, um, for a little different presentation when I get there. So I'm gonna pre-rig all this, ah, pre-rigging all this. If I catch anything on this, it's not gonna be a small fish. <laughs> so only using three rods, right? So I'm gonna you put can this. You can do as many as you want. I don't really care. I'm gonna beat you either Guess way. Guess I'm so. gonna. I'm gonna beat you either so, way. So we got. Uh, I'm gonna rig up this the Jean Larue shaky head worm. This guy right there on a shaky head. Dude, I'm excited for this though. So we got this craw. Tip it with the EWG Ned head from Lifted Jigs. So that's going on the medium spinner. Why is it so dirty? You, just, you disgust me. <laughs> My whole box is like covered in blood. <laughs> from the last trip. <laughs> we got the chaser baits right there. That's a rip snorter. So we'll have that on the SLX rod. Uh, then we're gonna rig up this. This is the uh, the Booyah baits, buzz bait. We're gonna rig that up. A little top water, catch it here at the end of the day. <laughs> Maybe. We got an hour for this, right? We got a couple days. What are we gonna do all day? Stuff I'll have to hit later. We'll hit the crank in a little bit. Holy we got holy the jig. Man. And then we got that cracking uh, like blade, this. bait blade, I guess they call it. We're gonna hit that. But first, we'll focus on the rest of this stuff. So this is going up front with me. One. And this is going in my gullet. Did you just say, why do things for I mean, profit? Like, there are some things that you don't want to do for profit, but if I, you know, eh, this is not one of those things. <laughs> well, I don't know, it depends on who you are. <laughs> <laughs> just don't tell me how to party. I, I'm, I'm, uh... Take a pulse spot. This is like, Pirate law. First, establish dominance. Poop in their front yard. Oh, Paul's serious. He's got his fish finder out. 
We're done. Yeah. Hey, figure your fish finder out later, boy. Let's go. Big old boy, right? Big heavy belly weight. It's gonna swim. I'm gonna let it swim with this, with this tail a little bit. See what happens. Look at this. Because it's like a straight on connection. And this thing's actually pointed down. Seems odd to me. Um, but you can kind of see where the, the eyelet for the connection point where you're tying your line in, it's pointed downwards. And that means that, you know, you want to suck water in here, but if you do a farther cast, this thing is just, it's actually diving. It's not staying on top. So you got to keep your rod tip way up or you got to cast more shallow um, just to make sure that you're staying on top with this. Otherwise it's, it wants to sink down. It's not getting that pretty splash that you're looking for. So interesting. Starting to, they're out here. I'll pull out a little bit deeper, I'll see what he gets. Yo, yo, we on. First cast on that crank. Little pike, little pike. Oh, yo. Oh, he is screwed up. Little pike, buddy. We, we had some goals here. Boys, that's it, my dudes. Check it out. We got a little bike. First cast with that crank. Look at him. All right, let's get this little pencil guy out of here. Later, my dude. You ready? Come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> dude, first. First cast with that thing. Are you joking me? Are you joking me right now? His first cast is that bait lab crank. Uh, first cast was a pike. I started seeing some arches, some movement. Oh man, should I change baits now? Is this a numbers or a knock them off? Let's see how uh, see how much we're we're gonna be let's be digging a grave here. Holy crap! Super slow retrieve. Seven feet of water. We dropped a foot. So I'm keeping the rod tip wicked high, Kept retreating very slowly. I'm letting that enormous spoon do what it wants to do. This is a trolling. Oh, I got one. Oh yeah. Ah ha ha ha! Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! That is hilarious. Come here, you. Look at this freaking tank. Holy! Shit. Come here, boy. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeff is going to be pissed. Holy cow. Okay, we're on the board here. Hey Jeff, where are you? There it is. Let's get a nice little... There she goes. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Unreal. Dredging the depths with the 16 footer nice and slow and uh shoot, nice fish. Holy crap. We're on the board. What? On the big crank? Yeah, boy. <laughs> uh, what? Oh. Uh, well, I guess I'll never get to fish that. <laughs> Paul just lost my giant crankbait. <laughs> fish. Yep, that's fish. Oh yeah, I got one. There it is. The bale keeps opening up on me here. It's really annoying. Oh no! What a sick fish! Oh my gosh! Look at that dude! <laughs> oh man, you want some ranch dressing with that salad? Yeah, bro. No, I'm more of a... More of a vinaigrette guy. <laughs> I'll be honest, it is hard to tell the difference though, because this thing kicks so it kicks so hard that like it feels like a fish. 
That's hilarious. Hey guys, I'm really good at fishing. Uh, I run a fishing podcast. Couldn't tell you if I had a fish on or if it was just a little salad. Look at that, <laughs> did you see that cast? Cast that thing a quarter mile. I'd love to could wacky rig that worm, actually. Maybe I'll do that. If we can find some freaking fish. We're in two and a half feet of water. It's kind of like attacking the docks. Yo, we're on. Yo! Come on, buddy. Come on. Yes! There we go. Boys, the play is now shallow. That right there is what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about, dude. Boom, this bad boy got this dude right here. There we go, not bad. Kind of a kind of a chunky fella. He's got a little, little meat to him. Boop, boop. <laughs> oh, he peed on me. <laughs> I'm so pissed. All right, man, Craw did it. Right at the docks, okay. Kind of open water too. Where are you at? Uh, not too far. I'm like kind of where, kind of where we were. Um, I went the opposite direction of you a little bit, and then I'm kind of just drifting back towards the middle of the lake. Oh, okay. You're out in open water right now. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm seeing bass all over the place. Did you get any? No. Really? I saw like three or four. They totally ignored the gurgler and the black craw that I have, but I saw a few. Yeah. Um, I got the paddle tail on now, and I just had like a really weird hit. Um, could have been a crappie, but. Uh, I drifted quite a distance. That's what I would have thought, because I, I was literally just saying on camera, I'm like, where is Jeff? Probably <laughs> he could have gone halfway across the effing lake. No, I, right, I'll, I stayed I'll, on the I'll, bank. I just kept going to the right, the way I was already floating. No, you know? I, yeah, yeah. So That's it's just I like. Figured, but I'm like you could have gone, you could have done a quarter lap by the time. <laughs> right, I'm gonna head over your way. All right, sounds good. All right. Later. Later. All right, so <laughs> let's let's catch there? let's catch up here real quick. So we got, I've got two baits down. I got one. Um, I, I one. yeah, I have not knocked my hard ones out. I knocked the easy ones out, of course. So I got the rabid baits done and we got the crank bait done right at the beginning. Damn it. I want to go back to it. <laughs> I want to hit that crank bait again. So I still got the hook. I got a paddle tail on. I got the chaser baits, rip snorter on. You're going paddle tail on that weighted EWG. You got the shallow crank. <laughs> and the gurgler. I think we're done on top water. I think we're doomed. So we're just gonna basically forfeit the top water. So that's two of your baits, one of mine. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this though. That's a dude, that's a money shot right now. I mean, it should be. It should be. I'm gonna fish that one for a little bit, 15 minutes or so, and then try this. That should be money. Switch it out. All right, we'll try these two for a little bit. Let's go! Jeff just got ravished by a twig. Dope twig. <laughs> That's a big twig. <laughs> nice, nice twig. Yep. Oh yeah. Nope. Oh yeah. I think I'm on. I think I'm still on. He must have swam towards me. Little guy. I'll take it. See ya. He was not in it to party. So I think the secret sauce is definitely the crankbait. They want that action for sure. But I think the bigger thing is right now the running depths. They're running at a depth. <laughs> One more fish and I'm gonna have to switch off. They're running at like four feet. Hey Jeff, that drop off? We have, to, we have to stay on this drop, that four to six foot. The one that's running uh, 
you see the sandbar where the sand starts 25 10 yards 10 yards inside of that is where it drops from four to six that's where i caught all the fish there goes that groundhog holy crap look at him go I'm working on his 40. <laughs> there's two of them oh look at him go look at him go oh. <laughs> okay so here's how this is gonna go for us i guess and that's fine this is fine Yep, hundred percent. Oh, that was a crappie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, quick release, quick release. Yo, it's just crankbaits all day. All right, <laughs> guys. I just realized why we're having a problem today. What did you do? No. Get. <laughs> 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 you kidding me. All right, guys, we're about to catch all the fish. Literally, well, zero catch. Listen, man, I needed catches. nutrition. Yeah, you eat it at the dock. <laughs> Out of your fucking mind. I'm surprised your boat's still floating. Uh, is, is it? We got a frickin' bite. Hi. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Yeah, a hard hit. Let's yank the rod out of my hands. Damn it. Frickin' commit, why don't ya? We've both only cleared two baits. That's insane. Uh, yeah. And I'm pretty, I'm like, maybe the jig? Like, I got like one other shot. Carl's bait and tackle lost my shipment. Uh, I ordered a couple cranks, some of the, the rattling neds. Yeah. Why not? I have a discount. Carl's Club. It's like 35% off free shipping. Yeah. I buy shit from there all the time because it's just way cheaper. But like, okay, so how much is the Elite Box? The Elite Box? $40. Yeah. How much is the Monster? 37 for the regional. Pretty close. You mean within $3? It's the same price. It's within $3. It's the same price. I would say it's within $3. <laughs> I wouldn't say same price. They're what you would call identical within $3. Except for $3. <laughs> Wait for me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, bro, 22 feet and point eight, yo! <laughs> bro, 22 point seven. Bro, just hit 23. What's up, yo? 22.6. Let's go. Bro, you're wrong. 24.4. Oh, what's up? <laughs> oh God. What a man. This is embarrassing, bro. Yo. 22, 21, bro. Five. Five. Four feet. Quick. Quick cast. Oh. You gotta get out. Bro, bro, bro. Bro, bro. Piss on that bait. Oh, come on. No way. No way that was a weed. That folded the rod. Did you see that? Wow. There we go. All right. Hey, look at the Hey, we can do it now. We can. Leave. We can. What's the rod, bro? What's the rod? 
freaking dink flip. You already watched the unboxing, right? <laughs> right? Right? It's all soggy. It's so soggy. Hey, I worked really hard today. It was a day. A day was had. Day. Fish, fish were caught. Multi-species day. Oh, we yeah. had pike, Three. rock bass, largies. Uh -huh. I, all in all, I would say pretty great day for hitting a body of water that neither of us have ever yeah. fished before. Yeah. And a body of water that had some pretty like ridiculous depth changes. Yeah. So we yeah. found a few humps out deep where it'd be 30 feet, five feet away from Paul yeah. and he was in five feet of water. Yeah. So pretty gnarly. I mean, we, we definitely went to the points, the humps, like we fished the depths, we fished the spots where fish should be. And we did what we could. We worked with just these boxes uh, today, literally just these. We didn't use any other lures whatsoever. That's the May, the May box? The May boxes for Monster Bass Regional Box we had and the MTB Elite. Yeah. We had the dredger crank, which actually 16 caught foot, a fish. 16 foot uh, yeah. drop. Roll the footage back. It landed a fish, the biggest bass of the day. The bass, yeah, the biggest the bass, bass of the day. day. Um, and then the bandit lures, this guy, the bandit lures, pearl and black, ended up being something hot for the fishies today. They were going after that pearl color. You know, it's uh, it's a pretty clear lake. So I mean, oh, I guess the water was the water was the water was extremely clear. clear. Yeah, we had would you say ten feet depth view? Oh yeah, well, yeah. If the as could I easily mean, see down ten feet without so, trying, yeah. ultra clear depth. But um, yeah, I would say as far as MTB plus for MTB, he was able to cover a lot of water. But really, for both of us. We both landed fish on just two lures today, which isn't too surprising. I mean, don't expect, like, like I get the slam idea, but don't expect to land a fish on every single bait that comes in the box yeah. on one body of water, right? I would say if we hit like a river today too, maybe we would have cleared a few more baits, but I'm not surprised. I think the hard thing about we it- We had like two go-tos. I think the hard thing about it was what you would traditionally fish in water that was there, like, I think MTB or the, the Monster Bass had two or three lures that would have that should have done Crushed really well anywhere for sure. Yeah. If we were if we were in a river, uh, I would have been I would have only had the, the weighted hook to yeah. put plastics on the worm and uh, the yes. flip that black and blue button. Correct. And right. then I would have had the the weedless. Yep. But yep. you know the other thing too is kind of all depends on where you go. Exactly. Yeah. And I think. Uh, in terms of regional box, that actually would make like in a, in like two weeks, that's gonna make a huge difference because we had a great we, it was great yeah. all day today. As you we can had see, eight mile winds, no sun, you eight mile <laughs> power winds all day. Yep. Uh, and yeah, the only thing that we the only thing that worked all day. I mean, we threw everything, but the only thing that worked was crank. So it really just came down yeah. to and to, then a, to a crank bait. So true to my. Skill Self set. skill set. <laughs> My personal skill set. I did land one on that rabid baits Ned, which was awesome. Which is the coolest bait, I think. I, oh, it might for, be the dude, coolest bait out of all the boxes. It's, it's the bait of the two boxes. So that's yeah. this bad boy right here. So I landed I'm, one on this and I'm really happy about that. And then all the other fish I caught were on the Bait Labs crankbait, which is about the same depth diving yep. as the um, yep. the bandit lures one. So like four to eight feet. Is that the green one? Yep. Yeah, it's rigged up. Yeah, so I landed a pike and a bass on this bad boy. Rock bass. Freaking rock bass. Yeah, yeah, unreal. Real weird. But anyways, we put a few numbers in the boat, which, you know, is never a bad day when you catch actual fish. Um, we threw everything. But if we were doing like a box-to-box -box challenge, I would say numbers. MTB put up numbers because that one lure. You literally, you caught one fish on the orange, yeah. and then everything the, else on the bandit. Every other fish he caught was on this one bandit <laughs> crank, crank. Yeah, which I have like three of those cranks that have come in monster bass boxes, which it I was, thought was hilarious. It was extremely <laughs> difficult. This is full of crankbaits. <laughs> yes, all these. Uh, we both had tons of other lures, but we were like, nope, we're only fishing these boxes. This is full of crankbaits. <laughs> like that was very yeah. challenging. It's uh. It's always fun. So I think fun. it was a fun challenge and uh, you know, it's a fresh brand new body of water we've never hit. So I mean, you can never beat that and we caught fish on it. So yeah. I think we figured it out pretty quick. Yeah, Read I your depth charts. Understand the water that you're fishing. <laughs> this guy, this is, this is my fishing nerd guru. <laughs> so I lean on Paul a lot, but we usually check 
weather patterns, uh, barometric pressure. We check the depth charts, like temperature, water temp. Water temp today, by the way, was 50. 50 it's I got 59 for what we're in a foot of water. It heated up. It's like 56 yep. to 58 everywhere. So bass responding like a week ago. In the flats in the sand. So we're probably really close to being able to do top water. Yeah. Because none of the top water baits worked. That was the our, other thing. Our top waters did not hit at all. None today. of the top water hit. And we tried early, right? Oh, it's yeah. not like we tried at noon. Like we, we went tried early. Early, low light, uh, fished it everywhere. Uh yeah. Unfortunately that but you know I liked how the buzz bait moved. Uh that came in the monster bass box and then I liked your uh the jitterbug one. Okay, I have a problem with that. All so right. here's, I have to do Fun, Final review. No, final review. So, so this is from the MTB. Yep, you can hold it up. See how the, the hook, the where you're actually tying your line on? No, where you're tying your line on, right in the yep. front? See yep. how it's facing downwards? Yep. But the entirety of that spoon, that, that bill, is also downwards. Now, the problem is it doesn't move. Where the, where your, your eyelet, where you're tying it doesn't move. Oh yeah. You have to keep your rod tip like, two or three feet higher than normal just oh, wow. to get it to gurgle huh. that really bugged the crap out of me all right i like the pictures when you get it right it definitely worked not ideal that was actually really bu bugging me i was good with all the baits that came in this monster bass box this shake head worm well, it got a ton of looks from those kind of cruising fish up shallow which is fine this thing's kind of hard to fish a lot of people have kind of gripes with this lunker hunt chatterbait and the issue is really this it's that if you fish it like you would a z-man chatterbait it rides really high and it'll just surface it'll just come up out of the water so what you have to do if you guys want to fish this and successfully fish this which you can if you do it right this is what i had to get used to today you let it sink then you reel it till it comes high in the water column then you let it sink and if you fish it that way it works so i was able to fish this over a lot of the grass flats which was great um i just didn't land any fish so if you guys are complaining about the lunker hunt you're just not fishing it right so try better <laughs> <laughs> but if you are complaining about it honestly just try a different technique it's not a standard chatterbait because at the end of the day like look at it your your blade is mounted to the top you know, when you fish a Z-Man chatterbait, that blade is free moving. So it's just a different, it honestly isn't a chatterbait almost. Yeah. It's just a different kind of bait. It's like a, I've been calling it a shutterbait. Like a surf weight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but let it sink, ride it up, let it sink, you'll catch fish. The other thing is I like, but. you can only use this bait. This freaking thing. <laughs> I, legitimately, like, I, I knew I was going to throw it because it was in the box. Yep. Um, Had to. Gotta go for it, man. We uh, fished everything in these boxes. We yeah, fished every single bait. I, in multiple ways. Yep. I mean... Even how they're not supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just, the weather in Michigan has been so bad and sporadic lately that the fish are just freaked out. They just don't know what to do. Well, we had so, a, a two-day frost. It yeah, literally 12th, snowed four or five days ago. Was it 12th and 13th? Yeah. Yeah. A few days ago. It was just snowing. So... Anyways, fun challenge today. I'm super happy about it. We both landed, basically, we if we were doing a slam, we knocked out two baits each. Uh, we landed, you got the numbers, I got the first fish in multi-species today. So I had a pike, a rock bass, and a bass. Uh, and I I'm, got big fish. Yeah, and you got big fish of the day, so. All in all, you know, badges were awarded. <laughs> badges were awarded. First was, blood, multi-species, big time. fish, numbers. It was a good time. <laughs> It was a good time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Ring the notification bell so you can see when we post more videos. And we will see you guys out on the water. Sign up for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe. Like and subscribe.